What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Um, this is going to be another scouting video. Um, I got about 30 minutes yet to my spot here in Kentucky. The spot that I'm going to start at. I'm going to check a few cameras and maybe check out a new spot. But yeah, basically just going to be scouting around. Um, it's raining, so we might get a little wet. But that's alright. It's a good time to look for sheds too when the ground is wet like this. Yeah, hopefully we'll find some good stuff. See you guys out in the rain. Yo, I just walked up on a fresh bed right here. There's a ton of hair in it. And there's some fresh tracks too. It's literally 50 yards from my camera. Can't tell if it's a buck bed or not, but... Yeah, it's a good sign. Just walking up on my camera right now. It's right there. On that tree back there, yeah. And here's a scrape. And a trail running through it. It was a pretty good pool. Uh, there was a couple good bucks in October, but nothing much during the rut. But yeah, I think I'm going to pull this camera. I'm going to take this down, keep moving. Now for the next spot, I'm going to go check out uh, the spot that I killed my early season buck last year. Um, I had never scouted that piece. I just went in there and killed that buck. So I'm going to go scout it a little bit, uh, see if I can pinpoint where they're bedding and maybe I'll hunt there again this early season. Spot number two, let's go. So here was the tree that I was in right here. I was up there about 15 feet. It's pretty micro here. It's just a small bench looks like it was an old logging road or something right here that comes up and wraps around this point so there's a cedar thicket back there and this trail goes around this corner like slopes down from this cedar top here there's an opening up behind them cedars too like a clearing just grass and this buck came right from here walk down the trail came right underneath me here like three steps from the base of the tree and I shot him right there there was a bunch of oaks here or there's oaks here that are drop that were dropping in September and there was a bunch of deer feeding on on these acorns and that's what he was doing he came I think he came right out of his bed right before dark walked over here started eating on acorns never knew that I was right up here in this tree so now what I want to do is I want to go back here and see if I can find some beds, um, see where they're bedding, and hopefully maybe dial it a little bit more. Alright, so I walked up here uh, to some of this low brush stuff, and I actually found a bed right here. Um, it's got hair in it. It's definitely been used pretty recently. It's a pretty small bed but I don't know this this thick stuff up here he definitely could have been bedding up here I don't know for sure exactly where he was but he was definitely over here somewhere and then he dropped down and he hit that trail and he went right up to where I was set up but yeah pretty cool to try to figure out where they're what they're doing and what their pattern was yeah as of now this bed is I mean, obviously a late season bed since there's hair in it, it's pretty fresh. But I'm sure they could be bedding up here in the early season too. We'll definitely keep this spot in mind for this coming early season. We're gonna be coming out here with a bunch of guys and hunting about a week. Uh, the first the first week of the season. Hopefully we'll kill something then. Pretty fired up for this state, honestly. Should be good. Let's go, next spot. Oh, my 
feet are soaked. These boots don't cut it. Walked through that creek and found out my boots aren't waterproof anymore. What's a good recommendation for a good pair of hikers? I need some before this season. Let me know in the comments. Third spot of the day, heading down here, checking a few cameras in the bottom and scouting around a little bit and then heading home after this. Um, it's pretty short here, but we just came, I just came from Ohio. We were scouting there for the past couple days. And so I just decided to hit this um, this afternoon yet, yeah, check a few spots and then head home. Yeah, hopefully we can find some good sign. Right here's the first camera. Um, I set it up along this hammer trail right here. Uh, it was back in September, I think. Yes, I am using a laptop. <laughs> right before I left, I was looking for my card rear. Couldn't find it. So I threw in my laptop. There was one giant on here. On this trail. I think it was December or November. But the camera is finicky. It's not working right. It's Colin's camera. But I think it's dead now. But I don't got more batteries, so... Keeping it there. <laughs> we'll let him deal with it. There's one more camera down in this bottom that I don't check yet. That one should be working good. It's crazy, these trails around here are just hammered all the way down to the ground. With about every trail got a bunch of tracks in it. Definitely an area of high deer density. Here's the other camera we had set up. Right on this tree here. Cozy, underneath the cedar tree. Ain't getting wet this time. That was a good pull. There was a lot of a lot of deer down here. A lot of big bucks too. So should be good for this fall. We just need to hunt here more. I think I'm just gonna keep the camera up and probably freshen it up, put new batteries in it sometime this summer. Alright. Time to keep moving. I'm gonna head up that way, check one more spot, then head out. Just walked into this kind of patch of thick stuff where there's this low green brush. And so far it seems like like anywhere anywhere there's stuff like this, I always find beds. There's two fresh beds with hair in right here. I think they're just doe beds. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to definitely keep that in mind. Any Anywhere where there's big patches of this green stuff on side hills or up on flats, there's most times deer beds in them. Um, basically, all it is is just diversity of timber. Like, right over there, there's a wide open hillside. That was just mature trees. And then right up on this top, there was this green stuff. And... Boom, right off the bat, found three beds. So wherever there's diversity, it seems like there's there's deer bedding there. So that's a quick tip if you're wondering how to look for beds. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm heading back to the truck and I'm about to head out of here. Good area though. We're definitely gonna be back here and hunting this in the early season. Um, it's one of the first states that open, so we can come hunt velvet bucks here. Can't wait for that. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.